Yolo gents, uh, it's been a while. Well, not really, because I already have made another video. Uh, crazy, crazy exposure that I have been getting lately. I have finally reached 1,000 subscribers. It's unbelievable how fast I just managed to reach this far. Uh, it was only like, how do I remember? It was like, maybe four, five months ago since I was making videos on Tekken. And now I exploded to 1,000 super quickly. I didn't even imagine that's going to happen that way. Either way, uh, I just wanted to showcase a few little things. This is not a guide. It's not a guide. It's going to be gameplay. This is going to be gameplay video for today. But I just wanted to showcase a few things that people have been struggling in the game because people have been commenting on my guides that, oh, they can't do this, they're struggling to do that, blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to showcase what you could do with this particular move that people have been struggling in doing. So let me just showcase it. So again, when you're doing 442, if you don't know what that move is, let me look at that move list so you know what the name is. Yumi Kakenuke, I think it's pronounced. 442 during hit from front you press 2 again now that move essentially is the just frame move that I have prompted in the full guide in the portion where it's the combo section of the video and people have been struggling with doing that uh, particular move I already explained this in the mix-up guide in the beginning of the video but I'll just explain it here as well so again when you're pressing 442 Okay, so 442, you see, uh, on the uh, command HUD. So, when you want to get the uh, just frame, this move, the way I always do it, the way how I got accustomed to it, because I'm more of a rhythm person. I'm not about execution. I'm not good with execution characters. Like, if I were to play Kazuya, I will fuck up when it comes to doing electrics. Unless I, like, train a little bit, and maybe I can get, like, one or two or three consecutively. But with characters that are more rhythm-based, like Lee, I can do things that, you know, that are considered to be execution-heavy. But they're more rhythm-based. That, that's how I interpret that. Interpret it, I mean. So, again, the moment that I can see that Yoshimitsu is about to hit Kazuya... I then press 2 again. So in a combo, as long as I know that it's going to hit, I have my finger prompted to just then press again right as I'm about to hit Kazuya. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special. Like, uh, the way I try to explain it to some of uh, commenters was that as soon as you see the sparks, The way I think about it is just that. It's just that as soon as you think it's about to hit, you press 2 again. That's all I can say. Now, what if you don't want to do that particular combo? Let's say you don't want to do that. Because you, you do get a little bit more extra damage, but it's not like a bunch of damage in reality. Like, if I go to a different stage, because this stage is... I mean, I can do a different combo. I can do this one. Uh, let's see. I can do... You can just end it with down 2-2. Two, two. You can just do that if you wanted to, right? You don't have to go for the longer combo that I already showcased. All right, let's, let's just go to a different stage. Let's go to, to a different stage. One that's a little bigger. All right, so I'm going to do the uh, optimal combo. When you're in that particular uh, part of the combo, usually you would do is that you would run in and then you do flash, right? One plus four. This move, right? And then you immediately dash in into four, four, two, and then you tap to you again once you get the timing to get the just frame, right? Now, if you don't want to do that, you find it too hard, okay, there's a different method you can go for the combo. It doesn't do as much damage, but it still gives you uh, more wall carry, for one. And two, it would also give you your uh, no sword stance back if you press uh, back again, which you already know what move is, but I'm just going to showcase it here. Right there. See? Now, what I just did was is that I moved in, I sidestepped to my right, then I used flash. 
I dash back in, then I do down two two. That's it. Now, if you want to get the no sword stance, you just hold back, so then you can go back into your no sword stance. Oh, I fucked it up there. I did it again. Damn. Last I said thing enough. There we go. See? I got it. Another thing, you, you will have to sidestep enough to the right to get it. You, as you saw, I failed twice because I only went like a smidge bit to the right, did the flash, but it still didn't work. Or it could have been because I was a little too slow in pressing down to two, so I didn't get the hit to land. So that's your alternative way to do it. If you don't want to do down to two, you can also do down to one if you prefer that. You get a little bit more damage. And I fucked up. Oh. There we go. You can also do that as well. You don't have to immediately uh, run in, then sidestep. Uh, I only do that do it that way because of Flashy Mitsu. He's another uh, creator as well that also plays with Shimitsu. He likes to do a lot of uh, multiple flash combos with Heat Burst. And I tried doing the method where I go dash in, then I go sidestep right, and then into flash. But this method is where how how I started it is where I go sidestep first, then I dash in. I feel like that works better than doing it that way. But if you want to do the other method, you can if you want it. Whatever you find more comfortable. Ah, yes. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I do have something else I can uh, try to tell you guys about. If you guys are struggling at lower ranks and you don't know how to play Yoshimitsu, like how to really go for his win conditions or how to essentially set up the opponent, the, the only thing I can really say is this. At lower ranks, a lot of people do not know how to block low. So if you are encountering a lot of people at, like, say, the the, the blue, uh, the light blue ranks, I think it's, it's called, or is it called the light green ranks? I'm not sure the actual terminology of the rank system, but essentially when you're trying to get to, let's say, str uh, strat, I can't even spell it. Spell it? I mean, pronounce it. Ah, fuck. I'm... When, you, when you go to the light blue ranks and you want to do something that would work a lot in that rank, just do full crouch into uh, down forward one. Do that move a lot. Of course, somebody has also mentioned that I can just do uh, crouch, uh, full crouch, and then just press back one. And you can do that as well. But the reason why I don't do that is that if somebody were to try to backstep me, I can at least cover a little bit more ground and then go for the uh, samurai cutter. That's why I don't do this. Because I'm likely to just miss and not get the attack. Of course, I'm faster, but I'd rather just go smidge a bit like this move in and then do samurai cutter i found that to be more successful than just doing this right in. you see right there he, he freaking missed he hit his he hit his leg he hit his leg there's like what it was invisible right there you saw the 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 ray trace the, the the light trace of the sword and it still missed okay so why did it work there it worked again okay i'm confused See? Okay. I, I'm not, I'm not like, going crazy. I'm not going crazy. It, it, it doesn't work. And I, I think the reason why has to do with the fact that you see the idle pose for Yoshimitsu. Look down where it says the distance from opponent. You see how it goes up and goes back down? I think depending on how far away I am from the opponent, uh, the samurai cutter won't work. I guess that's the reason. I'm not too sure. What was I saying? Uh, so yeah, just spam samurai cutter. Another thing you, you can try spamming as well is in no sword stand, just full crouch down 4-3. This one has a lot more range than Samurai Cutter, though it's not an unblockable, so they could block it if they try blocking, which likely they won't do that in lower ranks. Though you never know, there might be somebody who's very adaptable that learn, knows about fighting games and they know how to play fighting games so they know how to block. It always spammed your up back 1 plus 2. Especially if you're in your no sword stance. The, 
the likelihood that they might sidestep you is very low because a lot of players like to play 2D in lower ranks. So you just do that instead and that would probably work in your case. Other things too, when you're in your heat engager, go for up forward one plus two because they're likely not gonna duck you at lower ranks. This is how you'll easily get past the common rank and then to the light green ranks and then getting to the actual green ranks of the game, right? So if you're struggling, just do that, spam that. If you're trying to be cheesy, that will work. I think that's it. Uh, I'll try to demonstrate some uh, variation of that, but since I'm already in the green ranks, some players might actually start blocking low, but let's just see. Get ready for the next battle. Non c'è spazio per i dilettanti. Round one. Fight. What would we I don't get it. Why was that your first move? Round two. Fight. Okay, one one. Okay, got him there. Oh, see, now he learned. I'm not sure if that was a 14 frame punish. Got him. A little laggy. He likes to do that. Okay. Keep pressing buttons. Keep pressing buttons. <laughs> Keep pressing buttons. There we go. See? Just play fundamentally. If they are going to press buttons, just do that. That's going to work. Yeah, he wanted to cancel. <laughs> so, yeah, just don't don't go for crazy things. Just don't go for crazy launchers. Just try to poke the enemy. Uh, if you don't know when something is considered to be minus on block for you to then uh, attack them, just go for something that's a lot safer. Play safe. Play safe. Don't stay minus 10. Play like around like around minus 9 to below. Oh, same guy. Same guy. Okay. <laughs> okay, he burst. Oh. I forget that that move is uh, low. Ooh, trying to get again. <laughs> there we go, our combo. Bye bye. Round two. What's gonna do? Oh, messed up there. Wrong combo. If you're gonna stay low, just continue doing this. Down back threes. Lost. Bye bye. Fight. Indian stance? Okay, he did back one. What are you gonna do? Okay, this time. That was a one. <laughs> oh <laughs> Stay low. You <laughs> can just stay down. You win. <laughs> Alright, so before we go to the next match, once we find one, uh again, don't go for something fancy. If you believe for sure 
that they're going to press buttons on you and it's a button that is going to be slower than your move then you can try going for a launch also don't forget to duck because i know some people don't want to duck because they're afraid that they may get launched because they also want to launch you if that is the case try sidestepping and then go for whatever low move you want to go for right after uh also again like i said play safe play safe use your 2-2 two -two. Use your 1-1. One, one. Even if it's on block, you'll be safe because it's minus 9, I think. Let me check. Let me properly check because I don't want to lie to you guys. Yeah, it's minus 9. 1-1 one, one is minus 9. 2-2 two, two is minus 1. So you're able to sidestep if you want to sidestep away from the opponent. Uh, if you want to backstep, depending on how close you are because 2-2 two, two does leave you pretty close. So the only option will be either to sidestep or sidewalk. If they're going to use a move that's very sidesteppable if that makes sense right so do that get ready for the next battle okay a green rank let's see how he plays <laughs> with dragonov you want to sidestep a lot oh see like right there i sidestepped him but i failed oh what Oh, this is laggy. Very laggy. See? Very easy. I mean, I make it look easy, but... I I'm not that good, okay? I, I don't want to gas myself up. Okay. Come on. Yeah, see? Just just play phenomena. Don't don't engage too aggressively. Wait for your turn. Oh, I tried to sidestep there, my bad. So wants to press buttons because he was so scared. Okay. Went for a mix-up right there. Got him there. He wants to side roll, so that's why I'm getting him with this. Oh, nice. I forget that that move actually uh, I crushes, so he caught me there. Okay, does he want to fight? Yes, he does. Fight. Oh, see, shit. Okay, my hit engager up. Oh, see, he knows. Nice. That. Oh, is that plus? Oh, I didn't know about that. Now I know. Ooh, he's learning. Probably quickly. Grabbed him. Oh, he got up normally. That's why I didn't catch him there. See? I tried going for a setup there, but he ended up uh, he ended up getting uh <laughs> normally I was speaking so <laughs> I'm muttering. There we go. Yep. Got aggressive, so I went for flash. Okay, I got my front heat engager. He's probably gonna go duck, of course. He ducked. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's punishable, actually. He didn't punish my uh, kangaroo kick. Kangaroo kick is minus 13 on block, so he could have just used either a 10 frame punish if he wanted to.
if you didn't know how to punish with the 13 frame uh, startup move. Again, same uh, situation. I applied more fundamentals. I went for the moves that were best at neutral, up back one plus two. Using those moves will catch you. If they are not going to block their low, uh, your lows, I mean, you can go for up, sorry, not up, down back threes. You can go for a samurai cutter. I should have been using a lot more uh, no sword stance into full crouch down forward threes. But I wasn't solely because of the fact that I was having too much fun. I, I wanted to play more fundamental and not go for crazy shit. Uh, and what else? I think that's it, really. Just, again, play more fundamentally. Uh, don't play too aggressive. Uh, see your opponent. Yoshimitsu is not an aggressive character to play with. You don't play him aggressively. Lower ranks, people do not know how to properly play fundamentally. So they're going to go for whatever move they find is best. Like, for example, I kept uh, forgetting that the Dragonom had a high crush move. So he went for that weird stance elbow move that he went for. And I forget that he has that move. So instead of just trying to like go for uh, a button that would, would have played me, uh, placed me safe, I got hit by the move. So again, just watch what they're doing and you'll get the hang of actually uh, playing against these kinds of players at lower ranks. Not trying to like dis disrespect them. I'm just saying that this is what happens when you play against people that are less experienced. Get ready for the next battle. Okay, strategist. The light blue ranks now. Wow. He looks like a cousin of mine. Not, not gonna lie. Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, that wasn't what I was trying to go for. Oh, nice grab. Round two. Fight. Get caught. Oh, I messed up the combo. A forward one. Oh, he knew. Didn't know about mine, though. There we go. Playing too aggressive, so I'm just catching him. Back step. <laughs> there we go. Okay, got him there. In that situation, I went for my heat smash. While using that move, hold up, you go into your Maji stance. So you're very plus when you're doing that, so you can actually get yourself a 3 plus 4 if they try pressing buttons. What he should have done was a uh, crouch if I was going to go for that move. Back step. Nice. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. He's actually learning how to mix up now to defend, defend, defend my moves. Okay. That time he went for a low. Oh, I could have gone for a combo there. You see, if you gonna duck. Yeah, he ducked. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, now he's applying stances. That should have been. There we go. There we 
go. Got him. I, I don't know why I was messing up there. So in this scenario, the Paul was a bit more defensive after the few rounds. Uh, he wasn't going to allow me to catch him with the heat engager into the up four one plus two, as you saw he ducked. Uh, so if he does that, this is where you need to start trying to test him, whether or not he's going to go and actually get caught by the up four one plus two. Uh, so instead, just go for your mids, your mid, your safe mids, and apply... Yeah, just, just apply the safe mids, don't do anything else. Uh, if you believe for sure, like let's say if you did the heat engages a couple of times each round and they're not ducking, then yeah, then you can try going for your up four, one plus two if they're not going to be ducking your moves. Uh, but the likelihood that they do duck you, they won't retaliate because they could, they could punish you, mind you. They could punish you, but the, the Paul didn't really go for anything. The safest option to punish somebody if they mess up their grab, if they're ducking them the grab, just go for a dick jab, which is like simply full crouch into a one punch or a two punch as well, and you can beat them. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, Lily, I'm not gonna lie to you. Lily players give me headache regardless of what level they are. So I might lose. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, she's hot when she's looking like that. Okay. Uh, four, one plus two. See what I'm saying? I'm telling you, they, they, they know. Yeah, he's going for a lot of lows now. So he's trying to go for lows against me now. In this scenario, just either duck or low parry. I'm not doing the right combo. You could have punished that. Went for a low again, got caught by the flash. I'm a duck. Oh, missed. Too aggressive. Get ready for the next battle. Arena. Okay, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about Reina. I didn't really study uh, Reina. Round one. Fight. Okay, I don't know if that move was 14 frames. Okay. Okay, that was. Okay, she knows how to punch that. Ooh, forget that move. Oh, she went for that. Okay. Away from the wall, don't get caught. Mind you, if they go for electrics, you can duck electrics. So if you don't know anything about electrics, just duck them. Go back for this. I'm gonna go for up four, one plus two. Yes, this time he didn't actually duck. Got him there. What he's gonna do now? I'm gonna go for uh, oh, oh he's, okay. Yeah, again, I don't know anything about Reyna. Ooh, he got my CD one. There we go. Up uh, four, one plus two again. They got cut. Oh, this time they broke it. There 
go. She went for her electric and she uh, messed up the input, but she still hit me with the uppercut. I'm going to try to do kangaroo kick on the start. Nah, she went for low. Nice. She really likes to do that. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Press buttons. Press buttons. Press buttons. Ooh! Oh, she gotta launch me. No, no, she, nah, she gotta launch me actually. There it is. Uh, I'm not close enough. What? Fundamentals? Fundamentals? Go for fundamentals. I was trying to go for tricky stuff. Fight. But I so badly want to. What was that? Is that her parry? Wow! Okay. DD2? Oh no, I didn't even go for it. Uh, four, one plus two? Again. They're not learning. Oh. Ooh. She ducked. She actually blocked the low. Good shit. I will legitimately start uh, doing my homework for Reyna because I'm not too sure what her moves are. I know that the move that she kept on using against me that was a low into a mid, that if I press buttons, it counter hits me into a launch. I need to be careful about that move. But what I noticed is that she didn't block my back 2 too, so maybe that's 14 frames on punish. So maybe so. If not, then she may have not blocked quickly enough, maybe. That could be the case. And yeah, that that time again, I wasn't really sure about the matchup, but I still managed to like play again a little bit more fundamentally. But I was playing a little too party like in the beginning. I was trying to go for something fancy, uh, and got caught a couple of times. I don't know nothing about Aso Sena as well, so. Si, yo te entiendo. Te gusta la café? Yo prefiero té. Okay. Oh, she tracked me? Crazy. Okay, go for a mix up. There we go. I'm not thinking he's gonna go for a high, let's see. No, it's a mid. Okay, uh, 4, 1 plus 2. Okay, she didn't know. Oh, she went for a button press there. That's safe on hit. Okay. She's gonna block there. Ooh. Oh, forgot about button pressing. <laughs> Fundamentals down 4 4, use your neutrals. You win. Again, don't get too aggressive with them because then that can then punish you. Fine. Just stay safe. Uh, 4 1 plus 2. Again. There we go. Round two. Fight. Side step. Oh, I jumped instead. I don't know why that happens when I do that. Okay, she gonna press button, so that's why I went for flash. Oh, that that was my mistake. 
That was a mistake. Got him again. What? How I hit her? <laughs> That's confusing. Fight. That tracks! She has a lot of trackable moves. Oh, That's gonna retaliate there. Ooh, you know what I should have done there? That was, uh, one break. There we go. I messed, I messed with the combo up, but I still got her there. Ooh. So now, okay. Alright, I think I'll end it there. Uh, did a couple of sets against other people uh in that particular uh match with the aso senna since i didn't know the matchup very well uh now that i know that she has crazy tracking in some of her strings so i gotta be careful about sidestepping her unless i was sidestepping the wrong way then that might be the case uh again if they are too aggressive and they get too close you can start flashing them as well uh just don't do it too many times because they can actually see that and then not do anything at all or just block and if that happens then you'll be minus 15 on block and if they try to kind of like footsie you away from them then you might end up whiffing the flash anyways and you'll still get launched if they know how to launch you and know that you can launch uh from a flash uh again just spam your down back threes because a lot of people don't know how to block low uh, she did block a couple of times uh, there with the low, but that's because, you know, she seems to be a little bit more uh, adaptable to the fight. And, again, same thing. I'm not, I don't want to repeat myself. You throw up, up bag 1 plus 2 and stuff. Play safe. Don't go for crazy things uh, at lower ranks, because at lower ranks, people don't give a shit about if they're minus or positive on block. They will be pressing buttons on you. And because of that, the things that Yoshimitsu is very good at at higher ranks don't really work all that well in lower ranks. Uh, people just love to press buttons. People just love to uh, wake up into a mid kick or to a low kick. Uh, they'll try to go for a spring kick or a recovery kick against you. They'll do anything to try to get a hit, a hit off of you. So don't go for fancy things. I only did it because I wanted to see if I can catch them off guard. But you know what? If it didn't work, just go back to the roots, play fundamentally, and you'll win your games. So if you guys liked the video, give myself, I want to say myself, what? Uh, give me a like if you want. Subscribe if you want to see more of my shit. And stay tuned.